video to Fibaro Home Center 3. Uh, the reason why I made this video is because of I could not find uh, any really good instruction video to do basic things on Fibaro. So that's why I wanted to create this short video to also get you really fast up and running with Fibaro. Uh, a little disclaimer, I'm not an expert, I'm not a pro, I'm just a newbie uh, who found some things out and my intention is to give you um, some uh, guidance on how you can set your, your own Fibaro Home Center tree. Uh, as soon as you get your uh, Fibaro Home Center, uh, you plugged it in, you can go to the find.fibaro.com website and it will automatically uh, find your Fibaro if it's connected to an Ethernet port. Um, basically what you do then, you click open, which automatically uh, brings you to the uh, Fibaro. Obviously you first need to set up an, uh, an uh, user ID and password, but as soon as you have done that, you'll arrive in the main screen. You can see here that, um, for instance, uh, here are the, all the symbols. This is the home screen, basically where all the dashboards, where all the icons are. This is the uh, status of all the devices and all the triggers what's been uh, executed so far. These are the scenes which are configured at the moment. This is the, uh, I think that temperature sensors I don't have anything uh, about that and it's for the uh, for the heating I don't have heating st stuff so I don't have that but let's get started to add the device what you do is you click on settings and you create create a room so let's add a room here and let's call the room something like uh, uh, boiler room Boiler room, and then we assign a category. You just uh, I select the boiler room, and you select an icon. Doesn't really matter which icon you select. Let's see which I like. Um, I guess I choose this one. I click save. And then we select the default section and then we click save. Now we added a new room. So what we want to do now is add a device to this room. So you click on devices and to add a device on the right top corner, you see a plus and a minus, you click on the plus. It gives you a menu with for Z-Wave device, Nice device, and other device. I have no idea what Nice device and other device is, but I do have Z-Wave, uh, and I want to add like an an electric uh, electronic uh, switch. So I click on that, then the device uh, automatically uh, is for home center, of course. Uh, I have no idea what these two means, and what I always do is I give some extra time in learning mode because I'm also a newbie and yeah it's just easier that it doesn't go back to normal so what you do then is start adding and it will prompt here what it's going to do So I've now added the pair command to my plug and it now automatically is added to the to the uh, devices list. You can see here that it's a mil the, it's identified as a multi-level switch and um, it has a device ID 48.0. Well, that doesn't say anything to me, so I'm going to change that. I said. Uh, switch uh, 
boiler boiler room and which room is it in it was in the room we just created which was boiler room it automatically saves everything so you don't have to do anything you can see now on the little symbol that it's actually on if you click on it it goes off so it's a really handy interface to click on click off and automatically it will switch then also the little eye you get uh, the overview on the dashboard where the, the icon is but uh, the reason why you want to uh, of, co of course make this uh, device is that you want to add this make a scene so we go back to the wheel click on scenes and then we say add scene we call it the block scene how do we call it uh, well I'm going to put in some uh, lights into my boiler room which are controlled by uh, a switch so I will call it uh, boiler room switch uh, allow restart yes I want to run it auto and the category is lights so and tickets lights and I click save now you can see here the start of the um, scenes what you do here is you start with the device and you uh, drag it to here and then you select the room in this case it's the boiler room we just created then we choose the device there's only one device in the boiler room because we just created it it's a switch, switch. and we say when the state is uh, is, state is turned off and we want to enter a time uh, let's say for sunrise and sunset so is it turned off and it's uh, after sunset uh, one minute then what we need to do we say go back to device drag switch then we go to the boiler room again choose the device switch boiler room and then turn it on and we click on save so what we've done here is now we created a simple uh, schedule where uh, the boiler room switch when the status is equals turn off and it's after sunset then uh, after one minute sorry one minute turn it on save of course we want to keep this scene running meaning that we also want it to turn off again when it's not necessary anymore to be on so what you can do here is actually really easy there's a little copy button here you click on the copy button uh, as you do you want to copy it so yeah so we can still use here when it's we change the scene now to when it's turned on and it's after sunrise then we want to turn it off safe so now we create the second scheme you can look at the schemes scenes sorry if you click on scenes you got the whole overview of all the scenes i have i call this now switch on and switch off well, apparently you can only this is the maximum amount of letters you could turn and then you need to activate it you can already test the scene as well if you want to know if it works you just press the play button and then automatically the scene will be run you can check the status in the little status bar symbol here here it goes set value and it's turned off like it should be um so that's about that what if we want to 
delete the device. So let's go back to the same sensor we just created. So instead of um, uh, the plus symbol, you click on the minus symbol. And you do the same again, Z-Weave device, because we want to remove a Z-Weave device. Then you click on start removing. And now it will get a list of devices with a different symbol, which is a little cross. You click on the cross. Is it, are you sure you want to remove the boiler room? Yes. You can see here that it's now being removed. So that's basically it. It's very easy to make scenes like that. You can make it a little bit more complicated with, for instance, motion sensors. For instance, the one I have in my uh, bathroom. I have in my bathroom. I can show you this scene. Oh. I need to go to scenes, of course. Excuse me. Scenes. So between 6 and 10 o'clock in the evening, uh, when the motion sensor detects motion, turn it off. And there's a little timer button here. And the timer button, you can set the duration you want to keep it on. So you can set it for one or two minutes. For me, it doesn't really matter, but you can set a timer here for the duration it should be on. But for the fun, we can just say one. And then you save it again. And if you um, can show the other scheme when it turns off again, you click on the plus button. Here you can see that when there's no motion, so motion means safe and detector safe, between 6 and 10, turn off. So that's basically very, very easy. And this motion sensor is, uh, is looped to a uh, Vibaro dimmer 2, which basically starts my uh, bathroom lights. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, I'm not an expert in this at all. I just wanted to give you a real quick um, help on what you can do with this. There are like a, a zillion of possibilities, but uh, this is what I found out so far. Hope it helped you, and if you do, give me a thumbs up. Thanks, bye-bye.